Hey everyone, I've been playing a lot of Project Diablo 2 and today I'm going to go over some of the ways it differs from the original Diablo 2 and I'm going to show you how to install it. It's a couple more steps than your typical game install, but it's really not too bad. What is Project Diablo 2? Well, it's a community driven overhaul of the classic Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. The developers have expanded the game far beyond simple balance tweaks, introducing entirely new endgame systems like mapping, seasonal ladders, and class specific overhauls to breathe life into underused builds. Many previously neglected skills have been improved, making a broader range of builds viable from early leveling to late game content. Sets and uniques have been redesigned with more synergy in mind, and systems like rune words, affixes, and even monster immunities have been refined for better game flow and build diversity. On top of the gameplay changes, Project Diablo 2 includes major quality of life upgrades, auto gold pickup, loot filters, expanded inventory including a charm specific area, stackable gems and runes, a shared stash including new materials tab to hold all those gems and runes, and, and improved trading tools. It feels like a modern reimagining of Diablo 2 that respects the original while smoothing out its rough edges. If you loved the original Diablo 2 but want a fresh challenge with meaningful updates and an active community, Project Diablo 2 is absolutely worth checking out. To get the right version, uh, you'll want to go to battle.net, log into your account, and go to your account overview, and then click on Games and Subscriptions on the left, and scroll all the way to the bottom where you will see classic games for Diablo 2, including your license key. I've got it redacted. Diablo 2, Lord of Destruction, including a license key. I also have redacted. And download links. To download the game, click the download link. And then you can download the base game. And then Lord of Destruction. You will also want to navigate to Project Diablo 2, to their website, go to their download page, and click download here. That will download that installer. And if you have not created a game account, you can click on this button to create an account on Project Diablo 2. You do need one on their site, not one on Blizzard, because they have their own account system. Once you have these files downloaded, they are actually downloaders for the install itself. So you'll want to run this. For me, it always pops up with this error here, which you don't need to worry about. And then where do you want to download it to? I've already downloaded it to a folder, so I'm not going to do this. Um, normally, after it's done downloading, it will run. You can download them both at the same time. Just make sure you install the Diablo 2 before you try to install the expansion which is what I will do now. I will run this installer, install Diablo 2, scroll to the bottom, agree, and this is where you're going to need that key. So I'm gonna pause here and enter this key. Once you've put in your key, then you can choose where you want to install the game. I have a spot for my game. Uh, all PD2. And at this point, installation of Diablo 2 is done, but we don't want to play it yet. I'm going to go back and we're going to install the expansion. Again, same thing. Same thing here. I'm going to click install. Agree. And again, with my license key. And this one, as soon as I hit OK on the license key, it already knew where Diablo 2 was installed and installed on top of it immediately. Again, we don't want to play immediately. Now we go back to the downloads and we run the Project Diablo 2 installer. This is where you point it towards your Project Diablo 2 or your Diablo 2 install folder, which I put in a Project Diablo 2 folder. It'll prompt you to create your account again. If you have not, I already have, so I'm gonna hit no. And the launcher will update. And when you see the play button, you are ready to go. This is also where you find your item filters. 
I'm currently using this item filter. But then you hit play and then you will log in with the account you created on the Project Diablo 2 website and then you're good to go. And that's it. Super simple and you're ready to start your Project Diablo 2 journey. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe and also check out my Twitch to catch some live gameplay. Link in the description. Have a good one.